Every once in a while, there's a licensed game based on a movie that ends up being better than the movie itself. This has never been true all that often. Movie games are, after all, designed to primarily milk the largest amount of money out of an upcoming release. Of course, these days in general, we see far fewer movie games than we once did, at least for platforms that aren't smartphones. In simply existing, The Mummy Demastered bucks the latter trend towards free-to-play mobile games for licensed properties, but this game is also more than just another good movie game. This game represents a possible way forward for licensed movie or TV show tie-ins. In handing The Mummy off to a small indie developer, Universal took a risk with regards to what kind of returns they were going to get, and while it may have failed to be as profitable as they may have liked, I think it manages to be a pretty good game in what is increasingly becoming a very crowded market, full of Metroidvanias. The Mummy Demastered is a Metroidvania in just about every sense of the word. There are map rooms, save rooms, specific items, weapons, but it also tends to be a lot more grounded in terms of its base mechanics. To be sure, the game leans hard on its fantasy elements with monsters galore as well as supernatural abilities that you'll slowly gain, but your character is a generic human soldier, and the weapons that accompany them are very down to earth. You play as a nameless, faceless foot soldier in the supernatural defense organization from the Mummy film, headed by Russell Crowe's Dr. Jekyll, and the weapon you start the game with is a simple submachine gun, which has unlimited ammo. As the game progresses, you'll pick up more and more weapons that don't have unlimited ammo, but they stay relatively grounded. An assault rifle and a shotgun are the first additional weapons you'll pick up, and only the extreme late game weapons start to go a little left field with items like a plasma rifle. Trying to portray the Mummy Demastered as something revelatory or even particularly new in the Metroidvania genre, however, would be extremely disingenuous. The game liberally borrows from other titles, from top-level mechanics all the way down to specific enemies that function basically identically to their Metroid or Castlevania counterparts. That's not to say, however, that the Mummy Demaster does nothing unique. In fact, it has one very intriguing mechanic that will almost certainly make or break the game for the vast majority of players, and it relates to how death is handled. When you die, all of your upgrades and new weapons and ammo are left behind on a zombified version of yourself in the place where you died. You'll need to go back to the spot in which you died and kill your zombie doppelganger to get all your stuff back. And while this is generally a neat mechanic in the spirit of modern games like Dark Souls, the problem with this system lies in the fact that it takes away all of your health upgrades along with everything else, which can cause a problem when it comes to boss fights. Metroidvania boss fights are, at their very core, all about repetition. You, more or less, expect to fight the boss several times in order to determine the best strategy for killing it. And usually, these games will make that process relatively easy, parking a save room right outside the place where the boss resides. But in The Mummy Demastered, this leads to a really tedious loop, where you die to the boss, leaving your corpse behind. So now, you have to go run to your zombie self, kill them, then run back to another area and farm health and ammo so you can be back at full strength when you fight the boss again. And you've got to repeat this tedious process until you beat the boss. It unnecessarily adds another layer of frustration to what can already be a somewhat frustrating process. The only way to bypass this is to immediately reset the game when you're getting close to death as otherwise the game will simply immediately save the second you die. Nevertheless, I still believe that Mummy Demastered is well worth checking out. Way Forward has done some interesting things to change up the Metroidvania formula while remaining slavishly dedicated to other parts of it, and the result of that seemingly opposing nature is a remarkably fun, if flawed, game. In, in case you missed it, I look at games that were ignored when they came out or have been forgotten since. Games that people have missed. If you like that idea, be sure to subscribe so you can see the latest videos. If you like this video in particular, be sure to hit that like button, and thanks for watching.